Hi, I'm Jack. I'm going to walk you through setting up a uh, extrusion for our Philobot EXX. So first I want to walk you through our control parameters. We have our, our power, our stop, our start, and our drive speed. Up here we have our fan speed. These fans are connected to, or linked up with the uh, heaters. The heaters are controlled by these four PID controllers uh, with their corresponding label in terms of where they are within the machine. Uh, anytime you're going to be using a temperature that's uh, far from a set that you've previously had, around 20 to 30 degrees, you're going to want to uh, auto-tune your PID. To auto-tune your PID, we're going to press and hold the set button. We're going to press it until you see control 3. Then you press the down arrow, so that 3 becomes a 2. And you're going to hold the set key again until you get back to the main screen. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes for an auto-tune to occur, um, so you're just going to kind of sit and wait and let the uh, PID do the rest from there. Up here we have our uh, volts and amps. The volts give you an analog readout of how fast your motor is going, and the amps give you a readout of how much stress or strain the uh, screw is under. You want to be careful not to let that get too high or you might over torque the motor, which would shut off the machine. So before putting your nozzle on the machine, it's important to wrap it in poly temp, temp nickel tape. Uh, to do that is, is very straightforward. You just need about an inch and a half, two inches of tape. And you're just going to wrap that around the threads of the nozzle before inserting it onto the, the machine. So once you fill the machine up with plastic, set your temperature zones and put the nozzle on the machine. You want to make sure you have your safety goggles on and your Fumex positioned above the nozzle. Um, we're going to start pushing plastic. Before you do that, you want to make sure your spooler and the air path are both on and running. Um, how you're going to do that is you're going to take pliers and you're going to grab the filament, drag it across the air path, and put these magnets over top of the filament so it stays over top of the section that's pushing air up to cool the filament. Um, once you get to the spooler, you're going to want to trim the filament a little bit so it's easier to insert and you will be beginning to measure the diameter of the filament with our filament measure. I'll show you how to do that now. So after we placed our filament on the spooler, it's time to uh, dial in the desired diameter. Thanks to the fill measure here, we're able to have a digital readout and recording of the uh, diameter. As you can see right now, our desired diameter is 1.75, but we're up closer to 1.95. So what we do to bring that diameter down is going to be using the drive knob on the spooler. Clockwise, we'll speed the wheel up, which will in turn create thinner filament. So uh, it'll take a moment for the filament to actually get thinner as it has to travel down the line, but you'll be able to see as the filament quickly begins to drop diameter. And you want to dial it in so you're right around 1.75. Once you're at 1.75, you're going to want to trim the filament. Make sure it goes through the traverse. And you're going to place it on the spool. To do that, you can just stop the spooler from spinning. You're going to be looking for a little notch in it, you press it through the notch, pull it tight, and let the spooler pick up again, trim that, and you're good to go. Um, you want to make sure that your grommets are set at the right distance for the right size spool that you're using so that you uh, spool the filament in an even setting, or in an even way. Um, and then your traverse here, the faster your spooler is going, the faster you're going to want to have the traverse. Um, you just want to kind of make sure that as you watch the film at school, it's filling in an even consistent manner. So 
So this is the basics on how to set up an extrusion with the Philbot EX6 extruder. Uh, stay tuned for more technical offers.